In this video we are going to talk about basics of wine tasting. So before starting this video like this video. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. One of the most well-known legends among wine consumers is that a wine is great in the event that you like it. You could say, I appreciate drinking it, in this manner, it is a decent wine. But feelings can be emotional. And expertise requires the tester to attempt various styles of wines, even the ones that the person might be new to or may not be however one would prefer. Present yourself with a modest quantity of wine for tasting. Pass on adequate room in the bowl to twirl the wine around without spilling it. Moves toward follow while tasting wine. There are four fundamental stages to tasting wine like an ace. 1. Look. Start by outwardly reviewing the wine. The presence of a wine is a fundamental piece of its general congruity and adds to the delight of drinking. A wine's marvel and brightness of variety makes it engaging. Variety might uncover minimal about the nature of wine or its flavor, yet it offers an understanding into the grape assortment, beginning in age. Note the brilliance and lucidity of the wine. A reasonable and radiant wine with no suspended matter is sound. Slant the glass, holding it at eye level and afterward evaluate it. Notice the standard tone at the center of the wine as well as the color at the edge. Make an appraisal of its age contingent on its tone. Keep in mind, red wines ease up and white wines extend in variety as they age. Mention other observable facts in the wine. Do you see air pockets or dregs drifting in it? While bubbles are natural for shining wine, rises in still wines might show a presence of some residual carbon dioxide, which is in some cases added to youthful wines to make them zippy. Residue or stores are phenomenal and are seen as generally just in old red wines. Twirl the glass to notice the tears or legs. Wines with higher liquor or pleasantness have additional articulated legs or tears that slide from the side of the glass. Master tip, in a visual review of wine you are searching for brightness and profundity of variety, an absence of any surprising particles drifting in the wine. 2. Smell. A wine's nose uncovers pieces of information about its personality, beginning in quality, even before you taste it. A fine wine communicates character and lucidity through fragrances, while a conventional wine is unremarkable spot on. It is essential to take note of that not all wines have a fragrant bouquet, and some can be more muffled than others. To deliver smells, take your glass and give it a fast whirl, which permits oxygen to enter the glass and delivery fragrances. Place your nose over the edge of the glass and take a short sniff. Notice the force of the fragrance and whether it tends to be portrayed. To smell wine like a master is to develop a nose through training and value the essential grape determined essential fragrances like fruity and flower present in most youthful wines. An oaked wine will communicate notes of sweet flavors, vanilla, or roasted wood. A few wines might show fragrances of dairy like margarine or bread. Such smells come from the winemaking and are named as optional fragrances. A fine wine that has been developed for quite a while in a container or in oak before packaging will foster tertiary complex fragrances of dried natural products, espresso, caramel, calfskin, honey and even umami smells of mushrooms and soy. Expert tip, in nosing a wine, you are making evaluations of its quality by assessing its virtue and intricacy of articulation and its age, by searching for essential, optional or tertiary fragrances. 3. Taste. Tasting wine is an intricate encounter in view of the preferences saw on the sense of taste joined with the smells. It includes your feeling of taste and the essential impressions of sweet, salt, severe, sharp and umami flavors which you experience through your taste buds. The kind of wine taken along with the body and surface of the wine is what we usually experience as taste. Full-bodied wines aren't really more serious in flavor or higher caliber. A light-bodied wine can be extreme and rich simultaneously. Firmly connected with body is a wine surface or mouthfeel. It is the material vibe of the wine in your mouth. A few descriptors connected with surface are smooth, plush, smooth, stormy, harsh. The mouthfeel of a wine is impacted by the wine's parts, high corrosiveness can taste sharp, liquor can be hot, tannins can be unpleasant and exceptionally high sugar levels can surfeit. Supportive of tip, a wine's fragrances and flavors, its surface and its body all interface with a more extensive organization of the cerebrum, providing you with a general taste of the wine. 
4. Close Environment To assess the wine and its quality further, take one more taste of the wine. Center around balance, length, intensity and complexity ask yourself, are the flavors together as one with the parts of the wine? Is the wine articulated and unmistakable on your sense of taste? Are the great kinds of the wine enduring on your sense of taste well after you have gulped the wine? Assuming a wine is nuanced, expressive, finished and has a long satisfying completion, have confidence you have victor in your glass, a fine, excellent wine that should be enjoyed and appreciated for its artfulness. Cabernet tastes best in an enormous, stemmed clear glass. Holding the glass by the stem keeps your hand from heating up the wine, and the enormous bowl of the glass permits smells to move from the wine to your nose. Assuming your wine is very cool that you can't smell anything, you can hold your hands around the bowl of the glass to warm it up. This applies to white wines and red wines the same. The Tumi Sauvignon Blanc, for instance, ought to be served and appreciated at around 49 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit and our Cabernet's around 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. In the event that you are tasting different jugs, it is in every case okay to snatch a spittoon or spit pail and unpretentiously let out your wine subsequent to twirling and tasting. Clear personalities are vital to partaking in the entirety of that is in your glass or numerous glasses, assuming you're tasting more than one wine. Additionally, recall that water is your companion. In addition to the fact that it assists you with remaining hydrated, yet it can likewise assist with resetting your sense of taste. Continuously drank wine isn't new yet tasting it like an expert is a dominated ability that can be a scary undertaking. Primarily tastings are about enjoying a range of wines and discovering what you like and dislike. Wine tasting will help you identify flavors and aromas that you are particularly fond of, and thus ordering in a restaurant or bar will be easier from there on. A thorough understanding and ability to taste wine takes several years to master, but having a basic understanding will put you in good stead. Wine tasting can be a social activity. Small and large tasting events are often held regularly, weekly, monthly, this can be from an official tasting club to a small group of friends at the local pub. Wine merchants and shops often hold annual open tastings to identify how well a certain vintage or producer will sell and receive detailed feedback from customers. Themed tasting events generally showcase a range of wines based on one theme, such as a wine or grape variety. These wines can sometimes be served alongside food that complements the flavors, for example, cheese and canapes to accompany an Italian bottle. Tutored tastings are available for people who want to know more about wine and be taught the origins history of wine and how to taste it within an educational framework. These tutored sessions often include comparable tastings to highlight the differences between similar wines. Wine Tasting Conditions Whether you are hosting or attending a tasting evening, the environment is crucial to the experience. The best conditions for a wine tasting situation are a quiet room that is free from large crowds and noise. Distractions can impact tasting, for example, noise may affect your ability to identify particular aromas clearly. A room that does not contain too many distinctive or overpowering smells, odor-free. Neutral air is desirable, although nearly impossible, to achieve. Strong smells can linger in a room and interfere with the wine tasting. You will need good lighting within your chosen room so that you can record visual observations accurately and correctly. The wine used for the tasting experience must be served at the correct temperature and offered in the appropriate glassware. Conditioning the glass is sometimes required which is rinsing a glass with wine, not water, if it seems musty. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.